Hello, uh, Leon Turner here again from Trend Controls. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different and use the MQTT driver to send data to the cloud, as in publish some data, and then also to collect some back, which is subscribing to data. Um, customs increasingly demand this sort of functionality, and I'm going to be using a few free tools we can get at on the web uh, to try and demonstrate that. So my station has a few points already configured in it, uh, nothing too exciting. They are just basically going up and down these various temperatures. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually use the MQTT driver. So I'm going to add the abstract MQTT driver network. To make this simple, I'm just going to rename that. It doesn't matter what it's called, really. And then I'm going to add a device. Now, a device is a connection to what is termed a broker. The one I'm going to be using is something called Hive MQTT. And as I said, that's a free service you can get at on the web. I'll show you some of that in a second as we connect. So the first thing to do at this point is to give it the, the connection details uh, that we need it to connect to. And, and this is mostly done in this authenticator piece down here. So if I double click on that we've got various uh, information we need to fill in. Now for the one we're going to demonstrate with here, it's this broker.hivemq.com. And you'll see the broker port, make sure that's all opened up through your firewall. And for this particular one, it doesn't need anything, any particular security setup, it's an open kind of one. So that should be enough in actual fact. If we go to the points piece, and we actually want that, and discover, now, the points I will want are in a particular folder, so if I just go to that folder, it will limit what we're going to see. There we go, it's just four points, and I drag those in. Now, an important part of this is giving them a topic. And the topic is how you would basically pick this information up from, from the web. Now, I'm going to give them all a basic starting point, which is trend temp. Uh, We'll make it, yeah, we'll leave it all as defaults actually. There we go. Okay, so the points are all in there, and we should be able to connect to the MQTT broker. As easy as that. And then these will eventually all catch up, hopefully. If we actually set that to fast, it should hopefully get those out, sent out a little bit quicker. Now, down at the extension level, we can force these to go straight away. So I'm going to publish them straight away. They would all eventually catch up anyway, but I'll, I'll just force that somewhat so they, they disappear off. In fact, the others have caught up with me as it is. So in actual fact, um, in its simplest possible form, that's, that's already done. Now, if I show you what that looks like in uh, the MQTT, or the Hive MQTT um, WebSocket client, which is where these are all be getting published to. So I don't have to do anything else except connect and add a topic description, or topic subscription, I should say, and I call them trend temp. And subscribe and there you go data getting pulled back from the cloud so in its simplest possible form it's actually incredibly easy to do now note that there is nothing distinguishing that data from anything else so my four sources of data are all just getting mashed into one because i've given them one topic and mqtt it's a bit of a, a sort of a thing about mqtt it's designed to deal with lots and lots of data from kind of many, many, many sources and then used to, to, to aggregate it all, that sort of thing. So if we want to get, individually identify this data, we have to be a bit more specific about where it's come from. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to change the topic slightly on all of these points, which isn't a major problem. We can do that quite easily. Now, what I'm going to do is basically put a one, two, three, and four. Well, let's make it a bit more real room one, two, three, and four on these with that slash in between.
And obviously, you can publish an awful lot of data like this very quickly. Um, so we do need to be a little bit mindful of not swamping the system with too much data. Ah, nearly forgot. It's important to put that slash in. Obviously, forgot to copy that. Now, if I go back to my broker or my client here and change this ever so slightly, so now we're looking at slash room one is one topic. Subscribe to that, and you see it's given it a different color. Add another topic, room two, subscribe and so forth. There we go. So now you can see this is actually individually identifiable. The data is all coming in in the, in the you know, in, in a means we could actually work out which ones are which. We'll take the original one away. And as far as subscription, sorry, as publishing goes, that's pretty much it. So, um, it's actually a lot more simple than it would perhaps first at first appear. So that is now doing its business, and you can see it's bringing an awful lot of data uh, routinely as these values change. The next is um, a means of bringing in data from MQTT sources. And so now to subscribe to something. So the process is very similar, but in reverse. So if I add a new point, you can see there's some options down here, subscribe and publish, publish to go and push things to the web, subscribe to go and get things from the web. So I want a, an MQTT numeric subscription point. And we'll call this uh, data import. Now I can obviously send it to a local point if I want. So that's sort of like a link mark effectively pushes it to another point. I'm not going to bother for now. And we will just look for a topic and demo import and uh, mustn't forget the, the backslash at the end otherwise it will not let you save this so there won't be out there anything out there at the moment so um, we can subscribe all we like I very much doubt there's anything out there with that particular topic in there um, but what we can do using exactly the same tool from Hive this Hive MQ MQTT, we can push data, we can publish data. Now, if you look in the background, you will hopefully see this all kicking off kind of live. So trend demo import, and we'll give it a message, just an arbitrary number. I want to retain this so it keeps going. And there we go, it's almost immediate. And we'll do that a few more times just to prove it's not just smoke and mirrors. There you go. So it's, it's very, very fast from the web back into to IQ Vision, almost immediately in fact. Now that's a number, but it could just as well be a, um, a string point or a Boolean. Uh, the, the process is exactly the same. It's just a, a different kind of subscription point you're using. So I hope that uh, little brief demo was useful. Um, as always, if you have further questions, please contact your trend rep. Um, but thank you for listening, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Goodbye.